boy. This means that constant work without rest or recreation is harmful to one's personal life and well-being. Today, we are here for the talk show. Sixer Vijay Dhanya Gunashekar. Now, I invite Shania from class 4H to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, Shania. Hi, Shania from class 4H. Extend a warm welcome to our guest speaker, Ms. Jayadanya Gunasekar, Principal, Mr. D. N. Rao, Vice Principals, Ms. Shashikala Prabhat and Mr. Ernst Chon, Supervisor, Ms. Seema Pereira, Academic Coordinator, Ms. Ambika Padbanaban, Facilitators, Staff Members, Students and Parents. As Edward Bellamy once said, and I quote, if bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Recreation activities are important for the psychological and physical well-being of people. Indian school Alwadi Al-Kabir always strives to provide an excellent and authentic opportunity to enhance our little learners' abilities in the fields of extracurricular activities. This session is organized for the benefit of our learners. We are sure this will add meaning to their learning. Thank you. Thank you, Shania. Now I welcome Ms. Ambika Panmanabhan, Academic Coordinator Department of EVS, to introduce our guest speaker of the day. Over to you, ma'am. needs to be shared ma'am Good evening, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome Ms. Jaydanya Guneshekar to this wonderful platform for inspiring our young and energetic learners. As you all saw in the video, she is an alumna of Indian school Alwadi Al Kabir. She was the sports coordinator in the senior school in 2017 18 and the captain of the Vivekananda House in 2018 19. She has represented ISWK girls cricket team, Indian Social Club women's team, and Oman National women's cricket team. At this young age, she has received several awards for her splendid performances in the matches. Currently, she is part of the MOP Vaishnav College girls cricket team, Chennai, and Tamil Nadu senior women's cricket team. It is a great privilege and honor to have an ISWK alumna in our midst as a guest speaker to ignite passion in our young leaders and kindle their spirit in sports and other co-curricular activities. Over to you, Jay Dhanya. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much for uh, inviting me. It's a great pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for the wonderful introduction and the introduction video. So uh, I'll just start presenting.
Well, I'm not able to. Oh, yeah, I'll just yeah. make you go. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> yeah, you can stay. Okay. Uh, is it visible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, uh, so we're going to talk about the importance of recreational activities, but mainly sports, uh, since I'm a sports person, but we'll be looking at other aspects too. So when I got this topic, uh, to be honest, I first of all didn't understand what it was about. Then uh, Veda ma'am explained to me what I should talk about. So. Uh, it should be easy for all of you to understand since you all love playing and love sports. So I'll just start. Uh, so we'll just look at the basic meaning of what is recreation. So it denotes whatever you're doing, just an activity, whatever you're doing just for fun. Like it can be playing or anything during your fun time, like when you're free, like maybe uh, after studies, you have a study time in the evening, like maybe three to four, and then you want to take a break so you play for one hour, like four times. That's called uh, taking like a break. Yeah, so it's called a recreation activity, whether you can go with your friends, cycling, anything it can be. So, and uh, many of our parents, uh, they don't let us play for long. But here I have a very important point. The second point, which is leisure is considered a human right. So it's a right of each and every person that they can, be, they can have fun in their leisure time. So with your friends or with your family, it doesn't depend. It doesn't uh, differ. So there's this, uh, I'm sure you all, all would have heard of the United Nations. So they uh, developed or they made a document, it's called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So it's an international document which is adopted by the United Nations. So next time your parents ask, like, don't play for long, you can tell them, you can tell your parents it's my right, it's your birth right, so you don't need to be, don't be scared. Okay. So I just have a short, I just have a video here I would like to show you guys, all of you. Uh, Babe, you please check whether you have shared the sound. We are not able to hear the sound.
Uh, Jaitanya, could you please check if the sound has been shared? Uh, Jaya? Is it audible? Uh, could you please share the sound in Zoom? We are not able to hear it. You are able to hear me, Jaya? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, can you just increase your volume? Even your volume is less. And probably we can move ahead with the slides. Okay, ma'am. Sure, yeah. Um, am I audible? Yes. Okay, so basically what the video was about was based on different types of recreation. So it can be cultural activities or musical activities or anything like they were showing painting, drawing, playing, cycling, anything. So there are various different types. But today what I'm going to concentrate is on sports. So, and, uh, so this slide is about healthcare, how important it is for your health. So I'm sure you would have heard about WHO, which is the World Health Organization. So their research has shown that women and girls tend to be more inactive than men and boys. So girls, uh, they don't play much as boys. It's not, it, it might not be a bad thing, but it just means that they play less than the boys. So, and also it's a fact that in order to maintain children, need at least 60 minutes of uh, daily activity. They need to play anything. It can be, uh, it can even be like half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the evening or just one hour in the morning or one hour in the evening. But you need to keep yourself running or just for fun. Okay, and also uh, uh, in the United States of America, there is a position, there's a person who works as a recreation therapist. So I'm sure you'd have heard of the word therapist. So there's a recreation therapist in the U in the United States of America for youth, for people like you, or even maybe uh, your mom or dad's age, or even your grandmom or granddad's age, in order to take care of them. Okay, and also in the video, I'm sure you wouldn't have heard, but you would have seen that uh, playing daily or keeping yourself engaged daily reduces the risk of many diseases. Like yeah, please check your volume. You're not audible. Sorry for the interruption. A little louder. Uh, am I audible now, ma'am? Yeah, now it's good. Yeah. So uh, keeping yourself engaged in like daily activities like playing or as I said before cycling can also reduce the risk of many diseases like you getting sick that that can happen it will happen, but it will it might be very less. 
so always keep yourself engaged uh, i'm sure all of you have friends you live in complex or in a huge apartment building so keep doing something or the other don't just stay at home okay i know it's a very uh, many many kids now are on their phones but you can be on that as well but keep yourself away from that while give a rest to your eyes give more activity to your body and some uh, so this is uh, the slide is about uh, recreation as i told you many people take it seriously we take it for fun we do it in our break time but for people during the break time they do something else this is their full time work like how your teachers uh, are working now so that is something they do as a full time job so um, like for example here it's written for a musician so uh, if a person is playing in a, uh, you would have seen in many places that uh, many people play music instruments even on tvs like for example take a r rahman he's a big musician right so for him his full time pro profession is a music director but for us maybe playing a keyboard or guitar might be just for relaxation so some people take it really seriously but some of us take it for fun we do do during our leisure time we go for music classes singing classes uh and also uh as a career so in many universities they offer the degree when you when you finish your 12th standard and you, when you know when you want to do your uh, degree there are many uh, colleges which offer this bachelor's degree so it's called once you finish your 12th there's something called a bachelor's degree so you might if you are interested you might want to do it in something called a recreation management where you can work in like parks or you see when you go to like uh, mara land you see people helping you get into rides into the giant wheel onto the swings so you might if you want your career or after 12th if you want to work if you want it to be really fun you might as well do your bachelor's in that so that's what this is about where some people take recreation as their leisure but some people take it really seriously like it's their full time job so i just want you to write in the chat box like what is your hobby and why uh you it might not be why but what is your hobby like i just want to know so could you please write it in the chat box i think uh, that is not a joint yeah those who have joined can unmute and give out your responses yeah. we have yeah. not enabled the chat window okay ma'am sure yeah So, students, I request you to mention your hobby by unmuting yourself. Ma'am, I like to play musical instruments like keyboard and harmonium. Very nice. Ma'am, hobby. Ma'am, ma'am, yes. I have, ma'am, I have two hobbies: to play, to play football, and the another one to draw or paint. Very nice. nice. Ma'am, my hobby ma is. Ma'am, I like art. to sing. My hobby is to sing. Ma'am, my hobby. My, my hobby is to dance and sing. Ma'am, my hobby is to play cricket and football. Ma'am, my hobby is to art and craft. Ma'am, my, my hobby is to play cricket and uh, play musical instruments. Ma'am, my hobby is singing. Very nice. Ma'am, my hobby is to uh, sing and to uh, play outdoor games. Ma'am, ma uh, my hobby is to read and sing. Ma'am, my hobby is to uh, read and play the keyboard and dance Bharatanatyam. Very nice. <clears throat> Thank you all for your responses. Thank you. Uh, it's very good to hear from all of you. So we're just going to look at what is a hobby. I mean, uh, so as I told you, there are many different types. You do it for fun, right? So. Uh, so the difference i just want to uh, say the difference between hobby and recreation is as i told you recreation can be taken seriously but hobby is just for fun so people do it when they are attended or to when you are uh, so when exams are coming you are really stressed right so just to uh, take off that stress or that tension off your mind you play like some people said they're singing or playing keyboard or sports or playing cricket football so you just need that 
that break time to come back to your zone of studying because you cannot keep studying for 24 hours or you cannot keep studying for 10 12 hours so when that exam pressure is coming and you know exam is the uh, suppose exam is tomorrow and you have to study i'm not telling no but you need that break time a bit in between to or uh, you might take a break in tv or talking to your parents or eating something so that might also be a break to come back to your uh, uh, so you have that full concentration and focus again. Uh, yeah, so uh, another point I would like to tell is uh, we keep, once we start playing, it can never end. Like play from childhood, the only thing we love is to play. Uh, so some people might not, uh, some parents might not approve, just keep playing or take play as a career, take sports as a career, but if you're really serious about it, you can always be open to your parents because who, that's how that's who they are. They're very supportive. So you can always be serious and uh, try to equally balance with academics as well. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I thank you. It was a short se session and I would like to take any questions. Yeah, thank you, uh, Jaya. Here we have few of our students waiting to bombard you with their questions. Mm -hmm. uh, Anne wishes to initiate the question and answer session, and you may ask your question. Good morning, ma'am. Thank um, you for this wonderful session. I would like to ask you a question. How is recreation beneficial for students? Isn't it not a waste of time? Uh, I don't think it's a waste of time uh, because I was, uh, from my childhood also, I was very playful and I always did something, some or the other activity to keep myself engaged and my parents didn't stop me from that. And I'm sure even when you take a break from your studies, because not all of us can keep studying, so I'm sure it's not a negative thing. It's always good to take a break and do as many activities as possible as all of you said hobbies so that's very important so yeah okay. um thank you and we will move on to arush arush you may ask your question good evening ma'am good evening ma'am since my uh, favorite sport is cricket i have an interesting and simple question for you how did you get interest in cricket? Uh, I got interested in cricket at a very young age. Uh, and it was mainly because of my sister. She was also playing cricket. And along with her and few other boys in my apartment where I used to live, uh, we just started playing like normally how we start with a tennis ball or a plastic ball. So that's how I started. And I never imagined I would be playing uh, professional cricket. So yeah, I started at a very young age and it was because of my sister. Thank you, ma'am, for the answer. Thank you. Can you stop sharing the PPT so yeah. that you will get spotlighted? Yeah. Mm, thank you, Arush. So we have next question from Naban. Good evening, ma'am. Ma was it easy to manage both um, was it easy to manage both cricket and studies? How did you manage it? So when I started cricket, I was about fifth or sixth standard. And then uh, when I was at that age, for me, studies was not a very difficult thing. But as then I grew up, I came to ninth, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. It started becoming more difficult, but I had the support from my parents and uh, my surroundings, my wherever I went for practice. So uh, I took a break also in between in uh, 12 standard. I didn't play cricket at all. And it's sometimes it's okay to take a break unless you know exactly what you're doing. So yes, it was a bit difficult uh, towards the later stage, but beginning it was very easy to manage. It was good to know. Uh, next I have Punya Chandra Mohan. She's waiting to pose a question to you. Punya? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Can you please brief us about the challenges you had faced as a sports person? 
Uh, yeah, sure. So I started uh, cricket here, and when I started, not many girls or women cricketers were playing here. So it is very difficult to find group of people, group of girls who are playing together. So that's, I guess, the first and the main challenge I faced. And then growing up, uh, you know, there's till date there's no practice, uh, there's no coaching practice where there are fully girls. It's definitely more boys than girls. So and playing in India now, uh, there were a lot of people who told. Um, it might not be a good career for you, but respect all that. If you know what you're doing, there are uh, definitely no challenges that can beat you. So just stay strong. Thank you for that answer, ma'am. Sure. Yeah, we are really proud that you're, uh, you know, you have taken the first step to break the gender stereotyping. Yes, ma'am. We are really proud of you. So after Punya, we have Syed. You can ask your question. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Ma'am, I have a question. Have your parents and teachers ever stood against you playing cricket? If so, what did you do to convince them? Uh, there's no such thing that they stood against me, but there were times when I didn't play well, they might, uh, they asked me to quit and I was very strong with myself. We all have a bad period of time where we don't do good. Even we score less marks in studies, but there's always a next time for everything. So even in school, my teachers, they always supported me. Uh, Indian School Vajra Kavit has always been like my starting and my stepping stone of success. So I'm grateful for all the teachers from my primary school to my senior school and also my parents and my uh, sisters who supported me in everything I did. And I still do. Thank you, ma'am, for the answer. Thank you for acknowledging the role of IFWK in your career. Okay. Next, we have Amit. Hello, ma'am. Can, ma'am, can you share memories of your first day in professional cricket coaching? My first day. So, uh, I was the youngest girl. I was around... Uh, 11, 12 years old. I was the youngest girl. And when I started, I didn't know anything about cricket. I just used to play with boys mainly. So I didn't know what professional cricket was. I didn't know that cricket could be taken seriously. So I used to go along with my sister to the coaching. And then I learned from her. And then I learned from my coaches and my sir that, okay, cricket can be taken seriously and can be played by everyone. So... It was good uh, then. It was good to start cricket professionally, and I'm still doing that. So. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Amit. Um, next, we have Sai Satya. She wants to know about your daily routine. You may ask directly, Sai Satya. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Fine, ma'am. Thank you. I have. I want to ask you a question, ma'am. All eminent personalities have a daily routine. Do you believe it's necessary to have a routine to increase productivity in our lives? Do you have a daily routine, ma'am? So, yes, as you said, all eminent personalities have a daily routine in their life. And that's why they are uh, they're successful today. So, I, yeah, I've always had a daily routine from childhood. Uh, uh, and I still have a daily routine now. Uh, so it's like my daily routine uh, is mostly uh, just keeping myself on the go throughout the day, just playing and I have practice every day, at least two to three hours. So that's how I keep myself going. I don't stop myself from staying idle. So I try to do whatever, uh, even if it's at home, I try to find something that I can help me exercise with. I find some of the other way to keep myself uh, not bored. So when you do something, you're not bored. So you just have to find something which makes you feel like, oh, time is gone. So time flies past. So you just need to keep doing something or the other. And uh, yeah, a routine is uh, definitely important. Like after school, I used to have uh, 
practice and then I have to go for tuition. So that's how my day goes. So you never know how your time, your day goes by if you have a daily routine. So I just suggest to you all, if you don't have a daily routine by now, just keep your time plan or make a timetable, like how you make a timetable for exams. Just make a timetable for yourselves throughout the day or throughout the week or every day, however is easier for you. So it's easier uh, so you know what to do and when to do. Thank you for the answer, ma'am. Next, I have Akansha who wants to get some tips from you. Hi, ma'am. Can you please suggest some tips for recreational activities for us students? Okay, so to be honest, uh, all of you have hobbies and then I guess that's a tip. None of you are idle. So keep doing that. Uh, keep pursuing. I'm sure all of you, whatever you've told some people like playing, singing, dancing. So keep carrying that on. I'm sure there's a school band, but since everything is uh, online now, all, uh, all of you are not able to go and do it. Uh, go to the music room and play, but keep yourselves in touch with that. Keep going for music classes or uh, if you're going for any sports, keep going for that coaching and keep keep doing whatever you are doing right now. Just don't stop. Don't be idle. Uh, I'm sure academics is important, but recreational activities doing that is also important for many benefits, like I told health. And yeah, just keep doing it. Don't ever quit whatever you like. Thank you, ma'am. So I think more than uh, parents and teachers, they will listen to your role, to a role model like you. Listen to Akansha. Okay, so after Akansha, we have Manaswini who would like to ask a question to you. Over to you, Manaswini. Hi, ma'am. What would be your piece of advice to the upcoming generation? <clears throat> so, uh, like I said, it's the same point. I just uh, like to repeat it again. So, uh, just uh, make a proper plan of what you want to do. You might have something in your head, uh, but just writing it down makes it more, uh, you can keep reading it and you can keep reminding yourself of what to do. And uh, so recreational activity is just for fun, as I told you, right? So we all love to have fun, whether it's with our friends or families or even teachers, even in school, we have fun, right? So teachers are fun. Uh, so they are our friends. Uh, so just keep doing things you love, things you like. Don't ever quit. And I'm sure uh, some of you, or I'm sure yeah, some of you, or maybe all of you might be where I am today, uh, might be giving a speech later on, 10 years later, to your juniors. So yeah, just have fun. That's what life is for. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So let's take this one last question from Raghav. Over to you, Raghav. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. I would like to ask you a question. Yes. Who's your role model? What qualities in your role model inspire you? Okay. So all of us have role models. Like uh, we, when we ask, uh, when people ask us, the first thing is our parents or uh, something else, right? Definitely our parents, not at all. But uh, to personally, if you're asking me who's my role model, I actually don't have any role model. I learn each and everything from different, different people. Many people have good qualities or bad qualities. You just learn from different people. And there are so many people in the world. So me being in the sports field, there are so many sports, so many things to learn from many people. So I try to learn whatever I can. I try to put that in my game and I try to do what I'm doing even more better. So I just love to keep learning. There's so much, there are so much to learn in this world. So I just love to keep learning and love uh, to play. So that's what I'm doing. So I suggest you also, all of you uh, have a role model. It's okay if you don't have. You can have, like, I don't have, it's okay, but you all can have and try to learn from them, okay? So try to learn good things and try to do that in your uh, 
daily routine. Thank you for that answer, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear students and the dear speaker for the day. I'm sure with the available inputs, you all will start working towards your goals. Let's move on to the next segment. Over to you, Tina. Thank you, ma'am, for such an enriching and interactive session. Now I invite Ms. Shashikala Prabhat to say a few words. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Tina. And a very warm good afternoon to everybody and especially a very, very special guest, I would call you, Jaya. Thank you, ma'am. And I think amongst all the sessions that we've had, the talks that we've had, your talk and your address will be one that will be very close to my heart for a long, long time to come. Because firstly, having you here, your presence itself is a very happy moment for all of us at ISWK. Yes. To imagine that one of our students and alumina comes back to ISWK on a platform to address our little young ones and how very motivating that can be. I have seen with a very simple life skill kind of tips that you have given. Nothing high fonda, nothing that cannot be achieved. But the simple things that really touch your heart is what is going to touch the minds of these very young students who are all here on our platform today. And I'm sure your experiences and your fabulous pictures of success that we saw at the start will be motivating points and stepping stones for all our very young children over here. So let me first congratulate you on your very many successes. And I'm sure they have not been very easy. You have devoted so much of your time, so much of an effort, and above all, your determination to wanting to do what you love to do and you what you wanted to do. So it's a great achievement, I would say, at a young age to reach the pinnacle of success that you have reached today. And honestly, hats off to you. Very proud of you. Thank you. And I'm sure you would have wanted to do so many things as you were practicing, but you always drew back your focus to what you wanted to do. Because being distracted can be so very easy when you're young. But being focused and being motivated and you know, having the drive to achieve what you have planned is truly a success. And I'm sure towards this success goes also a large amount of kudos to your parents who've been there beside you, standing beside you, motivating you, giving you the confidence and supporting you in every way. So it's kudos to them. And of course, to all the teachers in, the, in your very formative years who, who encouraged you to do what you wanted to do and pursue your dreams. Yes, ma'am. So I'm extremely proud and on and behalf of the entire team of ISWK, once again, I congratulate you and all our blessings and prayers for many more successes coming your way. Sharma, thank you so much. Thank you. And I would also like to add a word of thank you to the EVS department for having thought of this uh, in line with the curriculum itself, but a little different and a little off track, but at the same time, very motivating for our students. So it's congratulations to you, Ambika, to your team of teachers, and of course, to my wonderful students who have posed lovely questions. And I'm sure you've learned and you will grab so many things from today's session. So well done to you, children. Well done to you, the team. And above all, thank you, Jaya, for being with us here. God bless you. Thank you so much. Ma Over to you, Ambika. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Tina. Thank you, ma'am, for such wonderful words. Now I would like to call Sheminoy from class 4G to deliver the vote of thanks. Greetings to everyone. It is my privilege to extend the vote of thanks for this event. I would like to begin by extending sincere thanks to the Almighty for making today's event a resounding success. On behalf of the EVS department, I, Shamanai, take this wonderful opportunity 
to thank our guest speaker, Ms. Jaidhanya Gunashekhar. We are really thankful to you, ma'am, for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend and share your valuable and interesting information with us in this webinar. I also extend my sincere thanks to, the, to our beloved principal, vice principal, and senior supervisor for the support. Execution of any event requires a proper planning. I express my sincere gratitude to Ms. Ambika Padmanabhan, academic coordinator, EVS, for being the catalyst to stimulate the concept of this webinar and executed to our benefit. My special thanks to the IT team for providing technical support. I also extend a sincere thanks to all the well-wisher parents and students for the rock solid support and encouragement. Stay connected, take care, bye, and thank you.